Day by day, there seems to be more clues pointing to an imminent North Korea-U.S. summit and even a high-level meeting to prepare for it. This time, we hear that U.S. President Donald Trump has sent another letter to his North Korean counterpart and that a high-level talk could be held possibly in the next few days. EG1 has our top story. U.S. President Donald Trump sent a letter to North Korean leader Kim Jong-un over the weekend, according to CNN. Citing a source familiar with the ongoing denuclearization talks between the two, CNN on Tuesday reported the letter was flown all the way to Pyongyang and delivered by hand. It's not clear what the letter is about, but the two leaders have been exchanging letters in the past few weeks. Kim allegedly sent one late last year, which Trump referred to as a great letter and replied. While the leaders are actively exchanging letters, CNN source also said the vice chairman of North Korea's ruling Workers' Party Central Committee Kim Young-chul could visit the U.S. as early as this week to finalize details of the upcoming second Pyongyang-Washington summit, which is highly expected to take place sometime next month. Kim and his counterpart U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo were supposed to hold talks last November, but Pyongyang postponed them due to scheduling issues. Although speculations are rising that high-level talks between Kim and Pompeo could take place this week, the White House is yet to give any official comment, while a State Department official said there is no meeting to announce, according to Reuters on Tuesday. Meanwhile, North Korea's Vice Foreign Minister Choi seon arrived in Beijing Tuesday morning. Seoul-based Yonhap News Agency quoted Choi as saying, when asked about North Korea-U.S. talks, that she was on her way to Sweden for an international conference. While it is unclear which conference Choi was referring to, speculations are mounting that she could be sitting down with U.S. officials to prepare for the second Kim Trump summit. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.